So now that we have our add reminder form working, let's look at how we can view an individual reminder. Okay, right now everything is hash linked. So we will go into our web.php and first things first, we will create a URL for view reminder. So this is going to be lead view slash, let's just say, we'll also pass the reminder view. So reminder controller will have view this is so view so open up reminder controller store have view where we get the lead right we have lead model binding and reminder model binding so now let's create a new component and we will name it reminder view dot view All right, so we have this component where I have imported the layout. Okay, sorry, I haven't mentioned that in the components. Okay, so this component is used, the layout, which gives us all the navigator and all those stuff. And we are right now just checking whether it is coming or not. This component will get two props, lead and reminder. So return inertia render leads slash reminder view lead will be dollar lead reminder okay and we are linking the reminder through the lead view so let's open that up This is where we have the hash link. So we'll copy this. Okay, reminder slash view lead is present and reminder will be reminder. So let's refresh. So we have view, the URL if you can see at the bottom of my screen or let me click it. So we have lead view slash eight reminder slash five view, which means this is working properly. Let us steal some of the boilerplate code like this reminder view will have div container and we will show the leads listing page then let's just say lead details which will be an inertia link as well we will href it to lead view we will pass the lead because we are getting that in the prop and then Reminder view. Hit refresh. Yes, this is working. However, this is not a link. That's strange. Um, inertia link. Yes. Lead details. Lead view requires us the lead which I am passing here so what just happened everything seems to be fine oh yeah I think now it should have a link so we are in this reminder I can go inside 
and we have reminder view now we need to show the form let's look at how we can do that we have reminder um, add which has this form right and if you see basically we need the same form so why don't we do one thing we'll copy this we'll create a component so we are refactoring this a bit reminder form dot view okay so i have the form i need this method so inside methods we'll have this however it will not make any ajax or post calls it will only raise an event because it's a child component right so the idea is that <clears throat> where is reminder view sorry reminder add in reminder add what we are going to do is import reminder form from reminder form okay so we do this and we send we use this component okay and similarly in reminder view we will do the same thing so let's import uh, reminder form okay and similar to this we will copy okay i hope you uh, are able to understand what i have done is we had that form in here right i removed that okay and created a new component of itself now this component will have the form we need to get this data because the form will require that data okay now the main reminder will be coming as a prop so how do we do this props Uh, main reminder is an object again okay I'm just trying this out let's see how you know we are able to do that so this dot reminder will be this dot main reminder so the thing is you know if we um bind everything directly with the prop the problem is the props cannot be mutated in a component okay props are kind of read only so my lead uh, lead reminder add will send that prop but the form will not be able to make any changes and that can be a problem so what we will do is have this and then on create we are saying the local reminder is same as main reminder and when this form is submitted we raise an event we emit reminder submit at this is the event and we will um, send this data okay and in the main component where we have this right first of all we need to send the uh, prop so main reminder is okay i think we can see the, the view will also have the reminder data so in add we could have skipped it but i will still send that so it's reminder okay 
so i'm sending one prop which is reminder which right now will be empty and we will be looking for an event which is renders submit on this event handle submit so for now we will comment this out and let's just say we will get post data console.log post data render form will send this so why don't we look at some lead where we don't have a reminder so open up the console validations are working however when i send that information okay it did submit so that's strange just let's go through the code again we have this on form handle submit hmm. did i refresh properly because the save was commented so shouldn't have done that uh, let's find some other reminder checking right so i think i didn't refresh the code and i expected it to work um this is the console that is here right so what we are already getting is the reminder checking and reminder date however lead is not there so let's see is lead send no it is not so what we can do is we can say post data dot lead id is equal to this and then we just confirm that you know we are getting that as well so checking try once again hit save and we get the lead id so again let's look at what we have done so far i'm going a little slow in here so that you understand what exactly happened so there was a form in here which i completely you know removed and i have that entire code in here so this is my form it has a handle submit it is bind to a data which initially is empty this is very similar to reminder add because while we are doing an add there is nothing in the local variable however um, we are still um, adding the prop coming from the parent component in this case lead it's reminder however we are still um, adding or assigning the prop to the local variable the reminder so that when we are working with the view we get the data okay so this is done on created we assign it and on handle submit of that form right we just uh, trigger an event we say render submit which is captured here okay, when we are you know, using that component we are saying that whenever this event is triggered you know, it's like this dot on so whenever this event happens we will call handle submit and on handle submit we get the post data because we are sending this render so whatever is being sent here will be available as a, an argument and now if we are lucky things should work so leads detail i'll just close this add a reminder after refactoring the code and i will call him on saturday hit save yes this is done so now we need to work on the view this is our component okay something happened we will look at that later however inside reminder view we are getting lead and the reminder object so let's look at how we can work with that reminder view 
needs the lead main reminder sorry not the lead so that's our lead and on submit we will get we will need to do something right so uh, handle uh, form submit post data console load blog post data comma post data okay and same as the previous add uh, lead reminder add we will have a handle okay uh, it's handle submit so handle submit on handle submit we will call this function right this is done mm, reminder form now let's reload okay for some reason although I have the reminder in here oh yeah so I am sending the lead which is wrong reminder is what I need to send and we have the data in here so you know if required we could have uh, we can also handle the save because we have the information we can do a save and it will uh, trigger this event and remind of you right so this form will again uh, trigger this this event which will send us the data here so if you if i look at the console hmm, what happened um this emit render submit and okay it is sorry reminder submit so when i click on save i will get that right i will get that data and i can work with that so you know that's definitely how we can handle the edit and uh, so basically we have the view in place now additionally what we would like to do is we'll have a button in here which says either i would need to add one more reminder into the application so uh, situations like you know i called him on the fourth and then he said hey you know what i am uh, busy today can you call me tomorrow so i'll hit the add reminder button so it will close this and take me to the add reminder screen again where i will type in and set a new reminder or i can hit the close button and say that you know this reminder is closed maybe you know he is interested so i need to uh create his membership or maybe he is not at all interested so just say okay fine you know this lead is no more um, of any use so we can get rid of him so that kind of things can be done so that's something which we'll handle in the next video but definitely i wanted to refactor the reminder form and that's why you know we went ahead with reminder add changing and you know we have this component and the view is also using the same component and you can see that the beauty is I, I will just send the data and the form is getting populated and on the add the same form is being used so tomorrow if I need to change anything I just need to handle it in one place so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel